I see steampunk as a, there was a period in the industrial revolution where machines were big and exciting and new and giant spinning flywheels and mecha mechanics and sprockets and gears when everyone was excited about the new machinery, the new sciences. When we all look at technology of today, it's very amazing, but its secrets are hidden from me. It's, I don't quite understand how it works. So steampunk is drawing back to the Industrial Revolution, where if you looked at the machine, you could see how it worked. You could see the cogs touching other cogs and the gears moving and the chains. Basically, you have to engage the gears, then you roll it going all the way up, then you disengage it again, then to open the valve, then to measure 225 bag of pins. Truth as a Destination with Steampunk has just become a mecca for the steampunk lovers. But I think it's more interesting with people who don't even know what steampunk is. Their descriptions are quite different. Cool, retro, they're not quite sure what to make of it. They don't get the genre. And that's even more fun and seeing them go in and then sort of indulging and then a question to a waiter and then you see the cell phone or the computer comes out and there's this Google and the epiphany and it's just been amazing. Είναι κάτι πολύ ωραίο, φανταστικό. Τώρα θα ερχόμαστε κάθε μέρα. Ε, είναι κάτι τελείως το ιδιαίτερο. Έχει το καβουρδιστήρι μέσα, το οποίο είναι 40 χρόνια καβουρδιστήρι. Είναι από τα μεγαλύτερα στη Νότια Αμερική. Και μας έχει κερδίσει πάρα πολύ αυτό το μέρος. A lot, a lot of people do know, know what it is. Um, they have come here and they want to have top hat parties now. They want to dress up in, in the Victorian age and they, they've actually told us they want to have birthday parties here and you know, like fancy dress and do that sort of thing. But uh, a, lot of, uh, a lot of people have asked questions and they're quite intrigued. Uh, they love it when they come in. Uh -huh. 